is RSC's favorite, Cobra Kai, representing the Whiplash on the blue side, Watts on the orange side, Barn Door, KG, and Stick for Watts, Benpai, Cobra Kai, and Monkey Lover for Whiplash. And we are underway. Kickoff is going to be in favor here of Watts as uh, Whiplash not able to keep control with the ball on their side. Now finally able to clear it out. Ben Pai on the outside touches it. One more in the corner. Gets it by Stick, not by KG. KG able to clear it out. Stick follows it up. Plenty of boost here. Might have an opportunity on net. KG helps him out on the near post. Can't quite beat that right side post. Everyone's favorite extra defenders. The crossbar and the two side posts. Cobra Kai thinks he's going to have an opportunity on net, but gets sent to the Shadow Realm. We'll see him in about three seconds. Monkey Lover a little awkward in the corner here, so Barn Door's just going to wait for that ball to fall down and follow it out of the zone. Sent back in by Cobra Kai all the way across the net. Stick with a pinch and a half. Comes out, centered out, but no blue player there to take the shot. KG sends it away for free. Now Ben Pai's going to try and chase this one down, but Stick able to pop it back over the players and get it back into the blue hat. About a minute gone here, and not a lot of pressure coming out in favor of one team or the other. The closest opportunity definitely was KG and uh, Watts on the near side post shot sent away by that right side post. But Wallaby, who do you think has the edge right now? Uh, definitely looking like Watts is kind of taking a little bit more uh, opportunities at the offensive side. You know, and they're getting they're getting some more threatening uh, pressure going down, but. Whiplash definitely have had some nice solid touches, but right as I say that, we'll save to save what would have been first blood on the side of the Watts, but you know, kind of on cue, Watts, Watts, his shots have been very threatening, and there's a there's a lot of offense coming out from their side. I definitely think that they're currently are holding the edge here, Clark. Yeah, only two shots in the game so far, both coming in for Watts. So uh, Whiplash are definitely going to need to get some shots on target. Over Kai credited with one there. Stick with the save. Now Stick into the corner. Going to try and center this one out. Cobra Kai on the near post to play defense. Ben Pai waiting patiently for his turn to go. Does get the 50 onto KG there to keep the ball to the outside. Cobra Kai faked out there a little bit on the unintentional fake from Barndor. Stick up in the corner. Can't quite read that one. So Monkey Lover comes in. Tries to get it center. Not going to be able to. So Barndor has a little extra time. Beats the last defender. And now just has to beat the defenders rushing back. Can't quite get it on target. And Monkey Lover able to help it. Get out. Now Ben Pai's turn. Doesn't get the greatest touch. Cobra Kai comes in. Picks up the pieces of the failed clear. And sends it away on his own. On the left side wall. Lots of boost here. Now has the 100. Waiting for Stick's touch. Stick able to get it a little bit out. But Monkey Lover keeps it in. Ben Pai trying to center this one out for Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai now way back, not able to take the shot. Does end up getting the touch on the ball, but not able to send it home towards the net. Monkey Lover with an opportunity. Good big pop towards the top of the net. Double commit there. Stick does make the save, but Ben Pai gets a free shot and puts it in. First goal of the game comes more than halfway through game one. 2-0-3 remaining, and Whiplash take the lead. And unfortunately... For the orange side, they showed that the more defenders, like throwing more defenders at the ball does not always guarantee a better save. And Bimpai is just sitting there waiting for it and immediately punishes uh, the Watts side. That's gonna be first blood in favor of Whiplash, despite Watts having pretty decent control of a lot of the game here. Uh, really good response from them. And Watts is definitely gonna be trying to kind of scramble, cruise, around, uh, cruise in and trying to get that tying goal. Wait, 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 hold on. So you're telling me that that age-old adage of double the people in the air, double the chance to make the save is actually not the proper way to play Rocket League? Uh, you know, I, I know it's blasphemy. I understand that I that I may be Get seeing out. death threats for this. But, Get him out of uh, here. Yes. Get him off the desk. True. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Monkey Lover had the opportunity. But see, yeah. but this is what I'm talking about. You know, zero defenders, no goal. It's, it's just how it works. It is how it works sometimes down here. Uh, just, the you know, the pressure. The pressure of the open net and everyone on the field. Not just your teammates. Oh, oh what a snipe, actually, by Ben Pai here. Gets the ball up and over the defenders. And really good spot on the left side post. Um, Yo, Ben Pai said, you said pressure? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Ice cold. Ice cold. Left side, left post defender. Nobody there. I don't even see anyone. 
Well, but it, it, it's actually true, though. For a lot of these players, they actually perform better when they're faced with adversity. Because when they're not faced with that adversity, everyone expects them to score. And that's when they start feeling that pressure. And then you get the added pressure from being on stream. And then the extra added pressure from there being no Lunar Stream tonight. So everybody that's watching is watching here. So it does lead to a little bit of pressure. And I'll, you know, rip the control a little too tight. Move the stick a little <laughs> too far. Jump a little too early. Who knows? Maybe you double jump instead of flipping into the ball. Either way, very good Rocket League to watch. Really good spike attempt there from Stick. Isn't going to be able to find its way into the net. 30 seconds remain. And we've got a two-goal lead here for Whiplash. Gonna try and change it, Watts is. Watts definitely in favor of the pressure. And now it does look like they are starting to feel it a little bit going in a little early, not being patient on the ball. A little more whiffing coming out in the last 45 seconds. Clock winds down to three, two, one, and zero. Now when the ball hits the ground, it will officially be Whiplash's game, but they do keep the ball alive now. Pops it high off the backboard. No shot coming in, so Whiplash take game number one. Yeah, great performance there. Bimpai had an incredible uh, perf uh, offensive performance as well. Uh, ended up carrying the team into that 1-0 series lead. And something that's really interesting, I think, from the Watts side is we, we saw that uh, statistically Barn Door definitely was on the lower end for the Watts side. You know, came in, had 84 points here. Definitely seems to be, a, uh, you know, a little bit kind of, uh, not, I wouldn't say necessarily struggling, but uh, it didn't seem, it seemed like the cohesion wasn't entirely there. So I'm really curious to see if they end up making a substitution or if Borendor sticks into it. And if, and if he does, if he does end up uh, staying in the game, I'd really love to see uh, a step up from his side. I, I think, I think the potential is definitely there. You just need to um, probably kind of calm the nerves and, and get your mind kind of reset into the stream game. Yeah, moving on to game number two. Watts definitely in favor of most of the pressure for game number one. But they did kind of let it drop a little bit uh, as they moved on. Barn Door not able to get very many touches on the ball. We saw it, it kind of going in a little quick. Needs to slow down, really line up his car with the ball, make solid contact, and get the ball down the field. But Whiplash came in for the second half of that game and really poured on the pressure. Got five shots on net. Two of them going in behind the defenders and beating the post as well. Let's see if they can keep it up or if Watts is going to come back and take game number one. Yeah, I'm really excited. We're getting into game number two. The players are on the field. We're going to get three seconds on the countdown. Five minutes on the clock. We'll see if Whiplash can get it. Take it 2-0 or if Watts will respond. Take it away, Crock. Off the kickoff, squeaks out to the left side of Stick, oh. able to get his car on the ball, and oh my gosh, what a goal here with just four seconds ticking away from the clock. Stick puts the first one in. Wow, and Stick, Stick definitely had some plays that were very close in the game one. Uh, had some really nice touches that were just a slightly off. You know, he had, a, he had a spike attempt, a couple high aerials, so definitely the capability is there for him, and we just saw that... He absolutely crushed that kickoff goal. Lucky Lover goes up, or pops up rather, Ben Pai up for the aerial. I'm gonna leave this one for Cobra Kai as he rotates back. Lucky Lover should be able to come in. Let's see if he controls it or sends it away. Ends up getting a rough pop, so Cobra Kai has to come in. Stick pops it off the wall in towards the center. Ben Pai gets bumped into that one, so sends the ball pretty far away. Lucky Lover now on the sidewall. Doesn't get that 100 boost, so not going to be able to do too much. Good flip into the ball. Pops it out center. Cobra Kai can't beat the defenders there. Now on the blue hat. Barn Door with a solid touch. Not going to be able to finish it out center. Passes back for a teammate. KG comes in to pick it up. Cobra Kai able to clear it away towards the mid boost. Barn Door now challenging him. Does get a good challenge. Pops it center, but Ben Pai up early. Gets a nice aerial touch down towards the center of the ground. Doesn't look like there's going to be too much control going on in this game. A lot of back and forth banging and ping ponging going on. Uh, just, you know, everyone's trying to touch the ball forward towards the other half, which isn't a terrible strategy down in the lower ranks. But, you know, if they can find a way to control this ball and control the play, uh, either one of these teams could really come out ahead. Play pass plays uh, kind of uh, in the lower tiers. Honestly, even at minor, pass, uh, pass plays are definitely going to be a uh, significant high, significantly higher guarantee of uh, a goal opportunity. Um, so 
would love to see that coming out here, but you know, as we're still looking at these plays, it definitely seems to be a little bit of a boomer mode going on. And right there, stick! Great read! Monkey Lover got the great save on the back end, but just popped out off of that post. And Stick was just absolutely lurking. The Shark is in there waiting and takes the 2-0 lead, and that's two goals for Stick himself. Off the kickoff here, Whiplash going to be looking to bring back the game, need two goals to do it. Watts not letting the pressure get to them from game number one, go up early by two. Now looking to make it possibly three as Cobra Kai gets a back pass. Barn Door is going to try and challenge Monkey Lover, be able to get it around Barn Door though. Now KG comes in for the challenge, leaves the ball for Cobra Kai. Stick sends the ball away, going to have to chase it down now. Ben Pai there first, pops it off the sidewall, up for the second touch on the aerial. Not going to be able to get it. KG slots it into the bottom left corner. And Watts go up by three here early. Really great 50 there for KG. Ben Pai goes a little bit high up into the air, and KG just puts it underneath. But something that's really interesting, something I think is really crucial here, Cobra Kai definitely can see him on those passing plays. Had a nice little back pass, had a nice pass off the wall. If... Uh, Whiplash does get some shooters in position for those. I think that those could be really crucial moving forward, Spock. I would have to agree. Second man is definitely the hardest position to play in Rocket League, so it's no surprise that there's a little bit of uh, vacancy in that spot sometimes for where it should be. Pop up off the back wall. Barn door can't quite read a second touch, so that's going to be going back towards the orange half. Cobra Kai chasing it down, cleared away by Sting. Monkey Lover now towards the center of the field. Bean Pie, Bin Pie able to pop it over. Not going to be able to get the shot on net. And a pass towards the center. Monkey Lover comes in, but Bin Pie takes an extra touch. Ends up sending it away from Monkey Lover. Monkey Lover is definitely not happy about that one, but it does happen. Pops it into the corner. KG there on the near post to send it away. Now able to follow it up for pretty much free. Gets the big boost, pops it over one, not by two. Monkey Lover able to get it out. Barn door bumped by Cobra Kai, 1v1, but Stick is gonna come out the victor there, sends it away all the way to the blue half. A little bit of a double commit there, so now Ben Pai is gonna be able to take it up the right side wall, sent way back down into the zone. Monkey Lover awkward, can't read it well, does get the pop over Barn door, 2v1 opportunity, but KG sends it back towards the net. Is he going to score? Good oh. 50 there, but sent away by Ben Pai. Not credited with the save, but we all know what he did there. You saw it, we saw it, and he played it. Great play there by Ben Pai to save that game. <laughs> he, did play, he did play it. He absolutely used his sticks to get that save. Uh, and right now, Watts, you know, Whiplash have a decent amount of pressure uh, moving into this game. But just nothing that has been super threatening, really. They had that one really good play where Stick made a nice one one v one save. But other than that, you know, Whiplash has definitely been on their back foot. And even when they had the offensive pressure, not a whole lot happening. And right as I say that, oh, Bimpai, a really rough touch, but a great recovery there. It saves what would have been the fourth goal and definitely the dagger. Even though right now it is looking uh, a little bit dire here for the Whiplash side, um, you know, and just. Right now, Watts have just been so much more consistent with their touch and so much faster to the ball, and that that alone has been keeping this them in this league, bro. Yeah, and uh, you know, they they've been doing it well, and uh, Whiplash here haven't been playing poorly. Had a couple opportunities. Plays like that need to stop happening. Though. Ben Pai there cuts again in front of Monkey Lover, taking away the ability for Monkey Lover to shoot. I'm sure that's going to be up for uh, conversation here amongst these amateur players. Uh, you know, that's twice that Ben Pai took a really good shooting opportunity from Monkey Lover. And Watts finally able to start putting the ball behind the defenders and into the net. So they're gonna Whiplash is gonna have to truly figure out what went what went wrong in this game number two and fix it up for game number three. Definitely, and KG takes the MVP on the scoreboard for the Watts. Stick came in with two goals of their own, and you know Barndor again, 52 points. Definitely, really struggling to get those touches in. Uh, it has some pretty good midfield plays, but th there were opportunities on the offensive and defensive end. That just kind of needed to happen and ended up not happening. So, Barn Door definitely probably going to need to set a, a step up still. Whiplash is a team very capable of coming out and putting some hurt down. They were very close on several opportunities. 
Um, I think if Ben Pai, like you said, leaves the ball there, is is really cognizant of where Monkey Lover, where Monkey Lover especially in this last game, but his teammates are in general. Uh, if he gets a little bit more cognizant of where those those teammates are, Whiplash can come out and really put some some damage down because they definitely had a couple really close calls. Let's see what we've got in store for game number three. Series tied up at 1-1 now. Wallaby, who do you have taking the next two games of the series based off of the first two? Um, right now, I think that I think that Whiplash is going to come out and take this game three. I think that they just, as a squad of three, definitely looked uh, pretty solid. And, and all three of their players are significantly more consistent. Um, and then game four, I think after Whiplash takes it, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict that uh, Barn Door is going to have his debut pop off. And uh, he's gonna come out and 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 do extremely well and take game four for lots. That's my very detailed prediction. Yeah, I think that they're probably gonna be able to come out and take both games, game three and four here. Cobra Kai with a car change. Maybe that affected his ability to aerial as KG gonna get credited with the goal there. Cobra Kai up very early. Boosts a little bit too far forward, not enough up. Doesn't get his car to the ball, so KG able to slot that one in. 1-0 early for Watts. Now that's a tough one. Cobra is very capable of making that play and definitely will be wanting that one back. But Whiplash just kind of looking to, to get back into this. Right now, four goals unanswered for the Watts side. So uh, really gonna looking for that Whiplash kind of comeback here. And four minutes left on the clock. Game three, it is... Uh, one to one, yeah, one to one. No team has really taken the lead. Both of these teams definitely wanting these wins to get uh, into a safer position for the very, very soon to happen. Oh my Ooh, goodness, I thought that was very close to monkey lover there. Been that would have been that, nice. That's it, but that's it. That's what we're talking about, and that's the play. And oh my goodness, they're so close. <laughs> Get yourself together, Wallop. Oh, Cobra Kai <laughs> with the open net puts it in. RSC's hero, the fan favorite, a minute 16 into the game, ties it up. The Dominus working well. Now the direct cause for both goals on the field here in game number three. <laughs> Monkey Lover with a great pass up off the backboard. In fact, great passing by the Whiplash side in general. Um, really good really, pressure, yes. Yeah, incredibly good pressure. And, and that shows you that that's what we're talking about, the power of passing, the power of, of being aware of your teammates. And and Whiplash just absolutely came out and had some beautiful pass opportunities and, and made use of it, and they get the goal. And, and that that's immediate satisfaction. See if that happens again. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, and like I said, they, or like you said, rather, they are very consistently decent right they just need to get that little bit of momentum and they can pop off and i think that really good pressure goal could be the start of it that's when you start having fun playing the game and when you're having fun playing the game you're automatically like 10 percent better uh that's a proven fact study done by me and proven and peer edited by me so it's obviously Accurate. correct 100 <laughs> percent. yeah <laughs> trust me i'm a lawyer <laughs> You can trust everything I say, I promise. I trust everything lawyers say. Yeah. <laughs> KG here in the corner, gonna get challenged by Ben Pai. Now trying to get it out centered, but Stick able to clear it away. Cobra Kai comes in, good demo by Ben Pai on barn door. KG playing defense on the near post, gonna get there first. Cobra Kai gets a piece of his car on the ball and ends up rolling all the way down to the blue corner. Ben Pai, plenty of time here. See if he can get it by barn door and does. KG also faked out a little bit. Good 50 from Ben Pai. Cobra Kai demo though. No defender back, so, but the ball goes off the backboard, so Ben Pai able to clear it away. Does he get the shot on net here? No, he turns away, leaves it for Stick. Stick able to clear it way downfield. Monkey Lover out awkward. Ben Pai also awkward, not going to be on target. Goes wide right of the goal. KG now down in towards the center. Ben Pai out towards the opposing net stick there with the save. I thought that was going to be a goal for sure. Didn't see stick there till the last oh. second. Monkey Lover, however, not a fan that stick saved his original shot. Slots one into the top left off of good pressure keeping touch by Cobra Kai. And right there, I mean, great pass by Cobra Kai. Gets it off the corner, pops it to the mid, lets, this, lets their teammate. Be ready and, and able to make a great shot on the net. Monkey Lover, great placement up in the top left corner. Not a whole lot that the Wads defenders can do in that situation. And Whiplash right now 
are definitely looking like they are really starting to turn up the heat. And right as I say that, I'm missed by Monkey Lover. And an, an unfortunate mistake there. Actually, it did touch the ball. I'm sorry, but kind of right to where Stick was waiting. And Stick the Shark is put, just puts it right down the center. 2-2 two two here with a minute 36. Lover and Stick come together on the kickoff. Goes to the right of Monkey Lover, left of Stick. KG sends it all the way down to the blue corner. Monkey Lover awkward cuts off Ben Pai, waits patiently on the near post. KG not able to make the touch, so Ben Pai bumps him into the ball. Now by Barn Door, good, good touch pass and Stick. However, there to play defense. Cobra Kai gets it nice and high, makes it awkward for the defenders. Tries to get it centered out, can't quite get it there. Monkey Lover off the bottom bevel, rolls up high. Can Stick get there? He can. Puts it out towards the back corner, so Ben Pai steals the boost, gets a pop, makes it awkward for Barn Door, and turns back in. Thought he was going to leave it for a teammate, but he turns back in. Monkey Lover centers it out for Cobra Kai. Not ready for that pass was Cobra Kai. Stick almost gets a good shot, but he does meet Cobra Kai instead of the ball. Ben Pai a little bit picked out there by Cobra Kai's play off the wall. Now Barn Door coming in, sent away by Monkey Lover. Shot on net from KG, going to be wide right. Stick now gets up, doesn't get a great touch, so Ben Pai doesn't really need to make a touch. Monkey Lover up and over the last defender, or the second defender. KG is back on the goal line, able to play third man. Ben Pai sends this out to the corner, gonna be trying to follow this up, probably, but no one actually going from Whiplash. KG pops it high. Monkey Lover forced to make an early challenge. Good play there. Stick puts it out to the left side. Ben Pai able to get a good touch. Does leave the boost, so Stick has 100 rotating out. Should be able to stay involved in the play as KG comes in with a good opportunity. Barn door bumps into the play. Not going to be able to clear that ball. So Stick has to make a touch to the outside. KG over by Cobra Kai, rather. Cobra Kai does get the bump. Slows up the play. KG doesn't get a free touch. Does get a second one, though. Ball hits the ground, and we are in overtime in Game 3. Wallaby, who do you think takes it in Game 3 here? I'm going to stick with my whiplash prediction here, Croc. I still think that they're really on top of it. I think that they've had some great passing opportunities and in overtime that's going to be all it's going to take is one really good really good pass uh out and definitely i think they're capable right now of uh taking this overtime though i almost did eat my words pretty much immediately <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we both called Whiplash. I called Whiplash not only taking this game, but the next one as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they can do it. Stick here is going to be waiting to see what happens. Cobra Kai can't get the shot down as Barn Door comes in, clears it away. KG touches to the outside. Stick a little awkward, able to get it up the wall, but Ben Pai able to send it back center. Monkey Lover coming in for the shot. Sends it home, and the overtime is over just like that. 45 seconds in, and Whiplash take game number three. And just like I'm talking about, Monkey Lover, great 50 down, gets the ball up in, or actually, sorry, it's Bin Pai with the great 50 on in the corner, puts it up off the ceiling. Monkey Lover immediately waiting there for the touch, gets a great shot, and Monkey Lover has just been absolutely huge on reading all of these corner reads and these ceiling reads, and has the cycle to show for it. Monkey Lover is the MVP in the match on the scoreboard, and to be completely honest, I think that that is about as accurate as you can get. Yeah, absolutely, and I think that they're going to be able to take this momentum into game number four, take it pretty handedly. Monkey Lover with a cycle, the only one of the games here. Two goals, one assist, one save, and on two shots as well. So that shooting percentage from Monkey Lover just going to skyrocket up there. Uh, Cobra Kai is going down a little bit with the three shots on net and only one goal to show for it. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's hard to keep a 40-something percent shooting percentage up, or at least I thought it was until I saw these guys' stats really incredible and they're showing us what they can do and the potential that they have to get up into these higher tiers in the later rsc seasons uh i mean this could be this could be huge here but i'm telling you right now barn doors pop off game right here it's happening watts taking this game and barn doors yeah. barn doors gonna pop guaranteed 100 percent. i have every confidence <laughs> it is 2-1 right now in yeah, favor I was just going to let that one hang. <laughs> I was, just I was, like, I was yeah, like, damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> 2-1 in favor of Whiplash here going into game four. Let's see what happens. It's going to be a 3-1, which and a team's going to be taking home the victory. Whiplash will be taking home the victory. This... Cobra Kai is actually insane. Oh, oh my goodness. Could have been major. Could have been major. Oh my. actually insane. Goodness. Jeez. Cobra. Guys. <laughs> Oh my god.
Good. Okay. Okay. Cobra Kai, you win. Good job. Well done. Well, well done. We can go home. Way to go. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if Watts can respond here early. Cobra Kai with the what was, was that triple or quad tap off the wall there? It seemed like it comes out with force in game number one. Possibly by a defender. I now see what what I expect might happen though. This could be a good thing or a bad thing for Cobra Kai because it could lead to a bunch of ball chasing and really fast play from Cobra Kai, but to a fault, or it could just lead to really fast precise play because he's so hyped up from that goal. We'll see how it affects his gameplay style, or if there's actually no change at all, which is definitely a possibility. Stick here trying to pop it center. Monkey Lover on the near post is going to be able to send it away. The barn door there to challenge in the midfield. Cobra Kai gets it into the center, trying to beat the defender. Gets it off the wall, and a pass into the center was a good one, but Stick able to send it away. Barn door now on the left side wall. See if he can get up and get this ball again. Not going to happen this time. Then Pai sends it center. KG catches. Stick able to get it but challenged by Ben Pop. KG finally gets it into the blue half. Ball was sitting there in midfield for a very long time. Really good midfield pressure from both teams to try and take control of that midfield. A lot of the times at these lower tiers, you just see all three players retreating back, giving up that midfield for free. It's a really good play by these teams to not let that midfield go for free. Monkey Lover in the corner now. Doesn't get a great touch. The stick going to be able to pass at center. Barn Door chasing it down on the opposite side. Vimpai gets the first touch. Barn Door does turn. Challenges Cobra Kai. Goes out the stick. Stick pass to Barn Door. Can Barn Door get the shot? No. Stick's going to actually try and go for it again. But Vimpai able to send it away. Tries to get up to the wall to read that ball. Can't quite get there. So Monkey Lover's going to come in and try and get it. Barn Door actually sends it towards the blue side. Stick now, plenty of time there, sends the ball away, unfortunately, but does make Ben Pai a little awkward. Monkey Lover can't handle it either. Cobra Kai gets the clear out, but Barndor laying it away, slots it into the bottom left. Barndor scores for the Watts. I told you, Barndor is it. This is this is the game. This is time to shine. Sneaks it in. Great placement there by Barndor, and it's gonna be a 1-1 tie game with 2.59 remaining. And Watts is coming back. They're trying their darndest to make sure that this does not go into a 1-3 game, but Vimpai has something to say about it. Comes in for the whiplash side and puts in the kickoff goal right out off of the rip. 2.52 remaining and Watts find themselves down one again. Watts down by one, still plenty of time left here in game four. Also down by one in the series, two to one in favor of Whiplash. Looking to take game number four here. Finish up that 3-1 series. KG now pops it up towards the blue net. Not going to be sent all the way as Monkey Lover has something to say about that. Sent back towards the blue side by Stick. Credited with the save off of Monkey Lover's clue. KG retreating back into the corner. Going to get the first touch here. Oh. Actually, really awkward. Monkey Lover shoots it on net, but finds the crossbar instead. Leaves the ball for Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai can't read it. Flips in by the ball. Ben Pai does get a good challenge to slow the play up, so Cobra Kai and Monkey Lover can get back. Cobra Kai a little awkward here. Going to end up centering it out off the ceiling. Comes straight down in front of his net, but a great touch by Monkey Lover sends it away. Nice pop and control by Cobra Kai there. Can't quite make the full... Uh, can't quite get the full potential of that play out as he didn't have a lot of boost. But it does look like the whiplash have reset and they're no longer in the danger zone. Ben Pai up for the ball. Beat by KG. KG off the back wall. Cobra Kai playing backward defense. Backward defense in amateur. Now that's something you don't hear very often. Yeah. I mean... I, like and this is this this is actually the second uh, amateur tier t uh, that I think we've casted Clark and at least that I've casted and amateur this season is looking is looking quite solid actually some incredible plays that come out from them and some kind of higher level like uh, decision making and rotational decisions that uh, you know you know don't even see sometimes at some of those higher tiers. Yeah, you were it was me and you and we watched the last amateur game right or maybe yeah, it was contender. So. Okay, okay, so it was well, Cobra Kai was in it. it. Oh, oh, Monkey Lover puts one down, three to one in favor of Whiplash. Yeah, and that's what I remember. Like, Cobra Kai was there, but I can't remember if he was <laughs> subbing for the contender team or if he, or if it was an amateur game. He popped up that series, too, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think it was an amateur game, but, you know, we're human. We make mistakes. Our brains aren't perfect. 
Yeah. Don't tell them that. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, and, and something... I just really want to point this out. Monkey Lover has been incredibly consistent on those wall reads. Um, you know, coming that are coming popping out in front of the opposing net. Almost every single one of Monkey Lover's goals have come off of a read of the, from either the corner or the back post or or the backboard of the uh, the other side opposing net. Oh my goodness, KG! What the? He takes control of the ball midfield and gets an instant flick over Binpai, and poor Binpai is just sitting in the net like, why me? <laughs> mean? We have a ch we have a chance here now for the uh, for the orange squad. Whiplash really trying not to throw throw this game here in the final seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds left to play up by one. Again, this is this is a time that a lot of people just take for granted. You not you don't need to sit back on your heels and just sit in the net because you're gonna get scored on if you do that. But you don't need to take the risky plays that would lead to a goal against. Mm -hmm. 10 seconds remaining. Barn door on the left side does get the touchdown. Oh, it's gonna no. do a back pass out to Stick here. Stick pops it up high. Clock hits zero. Ball hits the ground. Whiplash. 3 1 in the series. Take this game number four. Cobra Kai's triple touch. Definitely the play of the game there. But Monkey Lover, the player of the game and the player of the series.